Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Seven. Its title is Safety at Home. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, formal and lexical aspect of language, we are going to learn about exclamation mark. Before this in English for grade 2, I have taught you about punctuation. I hope you remember. Full stop, question mark, capital letters. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again because today I'm going to teach you further to recognize and use exclamation mark to express strong feelings. Apply punctuation rules to assist in developing accuracy and fluency through reading aloud. These are our today's SLOs. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Ar-Rahman verse 31, we will soon attend to you for judgment O oh, two multitudes of jinn and humans. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us, Bitta Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us, soon we'll see you, whatever you are doing, you will be, you will have to answer about that, right? So this is a warning and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, be careful. That's why Bitta, whatever we do, whatever we say, we should be very careful that are we following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are we doing the things according to the teachings of our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Right, beta? This is how we'll keep ourselves correct all the time. So, here, do you see this sign? So, this sign, what do we call it? You tell me. What are punctuation marks? And where do we use a full stop? And where do we use a question mark? Because we have studied about it, so pause the video. Answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you could relate that such type of symbols which we find in text are known as punctuation mark. Okay, so they, these are different from the alphabets of English and we find different symbols. So what do we call them? This is a parse toffee, question mark, comma, full stop, exclamation mark. So every mark has a meaning and we use it at different places, right? You have learned it. So where do we use a full stop? We use full stop at the end of a simple sentence, right? So whenever you write a simple sentence, I am a student, you put a full stop, right? And if you don't put a full stop, it's a mistake. And instead of full stop, if you use any other punctuation mark, still it's a mistake. That's why we should learn the rules of punctuation marks. We are all cousins. So I have completed my sentence. I put a full stop here. I am your English teacher. I am your English teacher. So this is a full stop. Where do we use question mark? We use a question mark at the end of the interrogative sentences when we are asking about something. For example, who are you? Who are you? I'm asking something. So there must be a question mark, not a full stop. Okay. Where do you live? I'm asking about a place. Where do you live? So there must be a question mark. Which is, which is your bag? There are many bags. Which one is yours? So I have to pull, put a question. So beta, this is how punctuation mark gives the complete meaning of your sentence. Either it's a simple sentence or a question, right? Now, today our focus is this mark and what do we call it? It's exclamation mark. Where do we use it? An exclamation mark is used after a word, a group of words, or a sentence. So there can be three situations. It can be used after one word. 
or more than one words or even at the end of a complete sentence when when we are expressing strong feelings okay for example hurrah now this word is showing a strong feeling of happiness hurrah we have won the match that's why we have put exclamation mark here because but when we say it now we express it through our words but when we write it we express it through this exclamation mark yes, we are very happy hurrah we have won the match okay are you clear with the concept so all of you open your book on page number 53 exclamation mark its examples to show joy so there are different type of emotions there are different type of feelings you are happy you are sad you are angry so whatever when you are writing it you have to put exclamation mark to show your feeling okay so to show your joy i'm so happy to ask for help please help me okay i'm so happy please help me when uh, to show sorrow oh i am so worried to show excitement great to show surprise i can't believe you won the match okay i brought it in detail to show your joy how do we when you are very happy so hurrah right to show to ask for help now you are you are you need some help so how will you please help me this better when you say please help me the you know the feeling is conveyed but when you want to convey this feeling in writing you write the sentence please help me and write the exclamation mark that this is my feeling please help me i need your help to show sore oh you see oh this word is telling showing your sorrow and you have put exclamation mark i'm so worried I'm so worried about my results or whatever, okay? So, to show excitement, this is another feeling. Great! We have solved the question. Great achievement. Yes! Right? We do it, now. So, we do in writing by using this exclamation mark. And to show surprise, I can't believe you won the match. Oh, your team was not performing that great, but still you won the match, right? So, this is how you can express you, your feeling of surprise. Are you done with it? Are you clear with the concept? Where do we use exclamation mark? Okay, I'm going to check it through an activity. Teacher will divide the class in two teams and will call one student from each team to the board. Teacher will write two sentences randomly on the board, leaving the punctuation sign out. For example, what a beautiful picture. So this space you will fill with a um, punctuation mark. And what was the issue, right? So the students will write the punctuation either exclamation mark or question mark and will read the sentence aloud. This is also important, teacher. Kindly make the students to read according to punctuation. If it's question, they should read it like a question. If it is uh, exclamation mark, they should read it by putting feeling in the sentence. So pause the video. Enjoy the activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now, I hope you understand the difference between a question and exclamation mark, right? Okay, so let's practice it in your book. Make sentences using exclamation marks to show following expressions in your notebook. So how you'll show your joy, your sorrow, your anger, Write different sentences and place a punctuation mark at the right place. So pause the video, complete this task in your notebook and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Now you know how to express your feelings in writing. Good job. It's time for your homework. You will write five sentences using correct punctuation mark. And here is a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet Lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learned to recognize and use exclamation mark to express strong feelings. And we also apply punctuation rules to assist in developing accuracy and fluency through reading aloud. Right? We read our sentences aloud 
to express it. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.